folks, welcome to this next video in the traveling salesperson and we're finally here at the point of optimization. We're using our random mutation hill climb, right? What are we going to need? We're going to need to take in our array list and our number of iterations, right? So, oh, that is terrible. So we're going to need to take in our array list and our number of iterations. What are we going to need out? We're going to need our fitness, right? So we want to have a look at our fitness and potentially we might want a system that out the print line our solution. Solution, right? For those who have seen the scale solution video, you will know what to do. It's the same process. You may need to consider a few other things. Hint, hint, the fact that you can't just assign a uh, an array list to a variable. You have to clone it. So think about that. And we may need to use a few new functions. So. For those who uh, who uh, have had a look into this and have had a look into the random hill climb, you know what to do. So if I were you pause the video now and have a go. And for those who haven't actually looked into how to do this properly, what you're going to be doing is getting your random uh, roots that we've created up here, assessing its fitness. You're then going to be creating a clone of that random root. Then you're going to be swapping a value within your random root whilst understanding the fact that you have a clone of your old roots available for you to call back, then you're going to assess the fitness of that new swapped root. And if the fitness of that new swapped root is higher than the old root, you're going to call that cloned root back. So you're going to call the old root back and reject the new root. In the same way as if you're going to have the new root less than the old root, you're going to adopt the new root, right? So give that a go and I'll come back with the solution for you. Right, so here we are. Uh, we're at the random mutation hill climb optimization algorithm. So we're reading our TSP file right here. So we you know, we don't need to take it in as a parameter. We're getting the root, the size of the array and end fitness, just so we can have a look at the fitness at the end. So in our for loop, we're going from zero to the iterations. It's the number of iterations we specify, by the way, um, quick point that we want to make about that we're looking anywhere between a hundred thousand and a million iterations when we try it so we're going up um, to the number of iterations and we're getting our old fitness right so we're getting our old fitness using the size of the array our passed in array list root, and our read array file right so these are the three parameters that we needed for our fitness I'll just remind us up here yeah so we're going to be getting our old fitness and then what we're going to do is create an array list called old root and create a clone of this root so we can call it back if need be. I'm then setting that root, right? It's what me what might be described as a completely useless method as this root, right? Just just so I know that I've stored that root somewhere. Then what we're doing is creating a new root and passing this root through the swap function. So it's going to swap two indexes together. So just how we've described before. And then we're going to create a new fitness based on the new root, right? So we're going to assess the fitness of this new root. If the fitness, if the new fitness is less than the old fitness, then what we're doing is creating a clone of the new root as the root. Otherwise, we're setting it as the old root. So if the new fitness is less than the old fitness, this root variable that's going to be passed up through again is going to be equal to our new root. Otherwise, our old root is called back. So if our old root is better, it's being called back. And at the end, we're just assigning end fitness to old fitness so that we can print out our final fitness of our algorithm. So. And then at the end here, I've just got a load of CISOs, systems out of the print lines, so should we can have a look at what we've got. So what do we want to do right now? We want to get this random hill climb, we want to take it to our main. And right here, let's let's set this uh, 100,000. And for this array list right here, let's put round. Round array. Okay, cool. And then let's just try and run this. 
So we can see that we've got a final fitness of 42,538. Um, at the moment, I don't have the time to release a video on simulated annealing. I will have a look if I can between now and tomorrow. Um, simulated annealing will get you anywhere like 35,000, but 42,000 is a fantastic number. It's great optimized route. And um, that is your implementation of your random mutation hill climb. Great algorithm, gives you a great result. 42,000 is our number there. If you want to check it on any other TXT files that you've got in your uh, project, then just change the number, just make sure you change it throughout. And that is the code for your TSP. So we've got, just to confirm, we've got our main, we're calling our random hill climb, we've got our random route, our TSP fitness, our swap, our actual hill climb optimization algorithm, We've got the set route, this half useless method, this print array, which we're not, yeah, so, and then we've got a read array file, which we're using, and our read integer file, which is something extra we haven't used, and then UR and UI, right? And UR is specifically used in simulated annealing, so you might want to have a look at that if you wanted to try it out. But otherwise, that should set you set you up for the code runner exam if this is what you're looking to do with it okay so thanks for watching guys i hope it helps any comments or questions do leave them down in the comments or just ask it um, just ask at scholarall.com uh, otherwise please like and subscribe and i hope you liked it Bye bye